Hi guys, welcome to the World Change Life for Ministries. I am Apostle Trishana Connolly, more popular known as Changes 22. I must say, I just received some daunting news, but I know it's the devil trying to attack me because of what I'm about to release. So please, whatever you can do, like, share comment help this video go as far as it can i received this word earlier today um and the lord sent me to finally put it together as i today's the sabbath it's actually the 28th so um i was in a deep privacy with the lord and that's where that all of us. <clears throat> Let's go. It's about the PDD scandal and Jay Z and TD Jakes. And of course, some which I won't be mentioning, but they're all connected, including TD Jakes. He is brother. Okay, so let's pray before we start. Heavenly Father, as I come before you today, not together, let your name on high. I give you thanks, I give you praise as I repent. Just ask you to take over, take the wheel. Protect us, cover us. Let me decrease so you can increase. Take me over completely. I don't want none of you to remain. It will be useless. And I have no effect. But with you, God, and your grace, and your Holy Spirit, God Almighty, you can take over and lead me. And get your message across. I pray strength. Give me strength. From everything coming against me. Keep me focused on the mantle, the mission, the message, the money. Let me die in the flesh. Leave my spirit to do your will. Protect this broadcast and everyone who's going to listen to me. Let them not look at me and judge me as they normally do. But let them just try to hear the word. And I remove everything that the enemy puts on people's brain to distract them, to confuse them, to mind control them with something and messages and uh, deception and manipulation and just give us divine focus that just take over right now. Use me as I'm available. Let me not even focus on what is going on all about me right now. Let me just give myself to you. I'm praying to be to protect us, protect my children, protect my family, my loved ones. You know, my helpers, even those who are listening to me, and take over in Jesus' name. So, as I said, the Lord reveals why he did it. He's going to what he's going to and all those written. And I'm going to walk you through. I don't know how long this will be. This is a lot. They have been spreading themselves like a green bay tree, and the time has come. For them not to be fun. Psalms 37. I said it last year that the stars will fall. A lot of stars are gonna come down because the star them I ruin the next generation. And I even gave my reason to. They were corrupting the children. And please note that prophecy, prophecies are wider than we think and can represent more than one person. So for example, we could say the stars are falling and a star fall immediately. But don't forget that we said the stars are falling. So one might fall immediately, one next year, but nonetheless the Lord made it clear and never gave a time frame. So don't just see something up here like, but that was for the fun, or that was for the TV. Please note that God made it clear so just expect fall. Could be all at once, one after the other. Just, just a briefing here. They are fighting God's people, this is another reason, from manifesting. And they are using witchcraft, mind control, to seduce them into seducing spirits, fornication. And they are making a lot of Christians lose their way. 
Satan understands what God is trying to achieve, so he uses mankind to oppose him. Hence, the reason for the ongoing chain of satanic recruiting in the industry, the spirit behind them is pride, lust, immorality, especially greed, among others. So they always want more. But do you analyze how they recruit? There's a pattern. They try to have persons, powerful people, in all corners of society, including the church. As I said, the Lord gave me this to share with you. So be patient and learn. Believe me, it's going to me. So I have, the aim of the enemy is to have superficial dominion over those who truly are being used by God. Gatekeepers, which I've seen, truly exist. And Satan loves to use them because he can keep out who he wants and get him who he wants. The qualified Christians who really deserve to go, he gets people in power who are also posing as Christians, but are gone wayward. I poor. So if they don't hop on the bandwagon train of immorality, greed, pride, lust, or sin, they don't get in. So Satan is trying to keep Christians down here. I've seen gay people, this is a testimony. There was a time I was praying for something to break, but a gate wasn't open. I prayed and I did what I need to do spiritually. Finally, one night I got a vision of the Lord helping me to go to a gate. A man was standing there like a bouncer. And he wasn't happy to see me. He wasn't happy to let me through. You could see he's not my friend, but he couldn't disregard what God was saying. And he was looking at me. Open the gate, step aside. And I pass, and he continued his job. So I'm testifying that gatekeepers are not just a figure of speech. Amen. And this is what Satan don't want believers to know. God created gatekeepers in Christianity too. Example, TDG. Hence, the swift recruit of hence the swift recruit from Satan to capture these powerful men. As soon as they get to a level, they're trying to seduce them. They're trying to because Satan understands that if they remain steadfast, they're going to be your help as a believer, my help. But when they are corrupted, Satan will have control over their minds, hearts, and bodies, and soul. And where they should be helping true men and women of God, you will be there with your anointing, your talent, your gifts, and can't get to a certain level that you, you are ordained to be. Hence the swift recruit. And the, the Lord warns us about seducing spirits. I pray that we never become victims of these spirits. In Jesus' name. Can somebody say amen? Because if they remain pure, as I said, they would grant many believers access to gain levels in society, giving the body of Christ power and allowing us to stand against the end time system which is the cheap system which they are planning to enforce according to Revelation 13. What will happen to us if all believers remain poor, impoverished, no power, we don't have no supermarket, we don't have no shop, we don't have no airport, we don't have no 
welcome to no gas stations nowhere and they say we can't shop here if we don't have the cheap we can't use this bank we can't we can't do nothing you see the lord created gatekeepers so that we still have men and god men and women of god in the end times but satan is trying to corrupt them means why all the great seem to be fighting this corruption i pray we win the victory given us in jesus name I pray we wake up and see beyond the physical that everything that is being done now is something the enemy is trying to affect in the future. Eve at that apple, not because Satan wanted to affect Eve or Adam. It was because Eve is the mother of all nation. She is the root and the foundation. You get it? So if Eve is corrupted, all mankind became corrupted. All things coming from the region. So is this thing you're being distracted by baby oil? Pay attention. Why are they falling? Why are your pastors recruiting? Why is there this heavy corruption? What is it? Because everything in life is spiritual. The Lord sent me to warn you. Don't get fooled and blinded by the controversy, but pay attention to what is behind the scene. That is what the devil is trying to distract you from. There is always a distraction from a truth, trying to shadow a believer. You will stick around to see what God has to say to us concerning this. Now it gets deeper. This might seem weird. So what I'm saying is, Trying to see with your spirit, not your brain. Mantles of great and old are upon this earth still. They have not died along with the great men and women that carry them. For example, Elijah and Elisha. Though one was taken up, the mantle couldn't go with him. So another got it. Meaning, someone will be next. The next Billy Graham, Catherine Coleman, you name it. Satan doesn't want us to gain wealth, to gain visibility after we gain these mantles. So even if you have the mantle, he doesn't want the world to hear you. He wants Christians to stay on their ear. And you can't go to this level where P D D and and T D Jakes and and when they get up there, he tries to corrupt them and try to get them in his system. Because Satan is trying to rule with a superficial dominion. So since twenty twenty. A heavy burden has taken place, as you can see, many started to serve them, including me. However, I came in 2022, but my transition started in 2020. I have been given a unique mantle, and the devil knows it. Even before I heard it from men and women of God. But I didn't quite get it until recently. So are many others you meet in their own way, like you. Nothing around you is unlinked, neither a coincidence. Everything in life is spiritual. Everything everything so even this that is happening there is something behind i'm going a little deep on this i got a vision that tdj's time was coming soon matter of fact i got three visions before i made the video the lord gave me a prophecy and it's urgent Sadly, 
because we're all about flesh. I keep hearing TD Jakes. Time is coming soon. Heard it yesterday. Then the Lord spake again today while I was ministering about a whole different sermon. TD Jakes' time is coming. Very was added. And with this brand new. Suddenly, I started seeing Sarah Jakes looking at me skeptic like I violated. That was the look. I knew something was up, but I didn't follow it up for I was in a severe warfare with the vagabond spirit. I was living on the streets. It was hard to focus on social media then. Then I saw T.D. Jakes attacking as a believer. Then I saw T.D. Jakes again attacking me. Only this time, Jay-Z. How does that add up? Keep following. I couldn't understand it. And the Lord led me to the comment section under the video that I made about T.D. Jakes time coming soon, which was last year. Before everything. And I realized someone had tagged Sarah Jakes in a couple of my videos. Hence, she saw it. Hence, the word fear. I started to see Sarah a lot with her mic in her hand. As though she was preaching against what people like me were saying. I never responded. I was trying to understand what was really going on. And as I said, I was going through so much. I got another vision of Sarah Jake telling her dad, Hi, daddy. Hi, daddy. And weeping while they escorted him out of the church, spelling that they would dismiss him from the church which I made and placed in my TikTok page. I saw the great T.D. Jakes and he was seeming to be preaching or doing something ministerial. And someone came for him and said, like it's time. And his daughter was almost saying goodbye, daddy with a sad pout. And it should be on YouTube as well. As I said, my life was under extreme spiritual attacks that made my reality hell. So my plate was already full. Then I got a vision of ninja assassins being sent to Jamaica on an assignment so I got another vision of a man tatted up, turning this way, tattoo on here, light skin, bleached hair, but I didn't know who it was. Because I've been abstaining from the secular stuff. If I even glimpse it, I skip it. So I really don't know what certain people look like. As I said, until I saw a poster of, of a Chris Brown concert, that was being hosted in Jamaica last year around this time of August, July, August. I realized the month that I saw my vision was Chris Brown. Because the same thing that I saw in my vision was what was on the poster. The exact same thing. But when I remember Chris Brown, I wasn't big. Never had that tattoo. And his face wasn't so modern like. He had more of a puffy face. I wasn't seeing so much treatment, so I couldn't even make him out. So the Lord revealed to me that this was the assignment. They were the ninjas. And Nikki came with him too. Please note, a few months before was that Travis guy, Travis Scott guy's concert. And a lot of bizarre things happened, which was, it was last year. People died. The stage was set up the same way. Portal, 
I always seem like there's a port down. I always seem like an altar. It always seems like they're doing something. Initiating something. Unexplainable results. So it was then. So it was a crystal. So even when they didn't win the souls by killing them, they latch on to them and tamper with them, those who would at attend this concert. They would get tampered with. So many died, but even the ones that not, didn't die, they made videos of weird experiences. And this was a sign that a transfer was being done. Satan was not only killing them, but he was latching on to them, going back home with them. This is how Satan uses these artists and influencers as disciples for his kingdom of darkness to release evil. I made a video and somehow I was going through a lot, made a prophecy about female influence in Jamaica and it brought me a lot of heat and no one wanted to hear from me. And somehow, the grace of God, they heard when I made this video to anoint their house as I was led by the Lord uh, as this Chris Brown concert that was being held. It was demon, and many people were getting visions. So many people said, Yeah, God visions too. Yeah, yeah. For your own benefit, please mark on the horse like oh, Moses. Moses mark him also the blood. Please mark where you sleep with olive oil and blessed water and mark it. I say, Lord, make everything, make any death angel, any form of demonic force pass over this house. Please, people, please, people, please, people. Me have no reason for do this. Me have no reason for do this. Me viral already. Me viral already. Me me have no reason for do this. Me viral already. Please, me I beg you no. Please, me I beg you no. Please, me I beg you. Jump me a cadet. I come them come on assignment. Me literally see them ninja them. Me see them. God show me them to level twenty seven. Me see them. Me say them they're on assignment and they're laugh because none of them believe we. They are them a computer and I show because you know you get to a point when all about money and fame. Then anybody can just jump in, stand for nothing, fall for anything. The devil will come out, come out as an angel of light. It, it is written, the devil come as a being of light. I know a fall for him, please. If you don't have olive oil, get olive oil and consecrate on the house. Ask the Lord for make any force of darkness pass over. Pass over them. Pray over the children. Please, people, please, please. Mo wake up just to tell them this fresh. I could have waited till morning. I don't want somebody to work and miss it. I don't want you to go to church. Anybody will follow me. So, many Jamaicans also claim to cut these great visions. So they listen. Now, on the day of the concert, I wasn't there, but I saw clippings on TikTok before and after. The stage was set up similar to, to, to Travis Scott. They had a portal. And the initiation of the, the performance was a, what it was, a robot. And it was telling them that their mind is under control. That was the intro. And they say it was just a gig, but it's not a gig. It's an initiation to put them under a trance because Satan is mind control. That is why music plays in your head after you hear it and you leave and you go home. They say, why is this music in your head? Why are you getting intrusive thoughts? What? Because who controls the mind? The mind controls the mind. He uses mind control. As I said, Nicki Minaj was also in Jamaica. She was all over the internet. Jamaica, they're wondering how what was really happening. We showed up at a place like this. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of weird. She was giving away a lot of money. And the Lord made it clear that the assignment had started even before the, the concert took off. There was a portal and, and a picture of Mama on the stage in the video i had made warning people i told them 
to anoint their doors because demons will be released. So no lives were lost. However, I got a vision after the day after of Nikki reporting to someone, but I couldn't see who it was, but I could hear them talking, saying, and I'm trying to imitate what I heard. It's that Jamaican girl. It's that Jamaican girl telling me that someone was asking her why what was planned didn't, didn't come through as they had hoped, didn't go as planned. She was telling them that girl warned them. It's that chimney king girl. It's that chimney king girl. Then, after making that video, I saw on TikTok that Nikki left Jamaica. And I said in my heart, oh yes, she did. Chris, however, was still here. For he needed blood. And I was sweet to him. So Chris Brown went to, the, I think, Tivoli Gardens. One of the inner cities in Jamaica. An urban community. And he was surrounded with children, and they were excited to see the superstar. But the Lord's telling me he's desperate for blood. For there's a punishment that follows whenever they feel their assignment. And according to reports, some people say a lot of bizarre stuff took place in the community after he left, including people get shot. Uh, weird breakout of violence, children get hurt, some stuff transpired in 2023. And still people couldn't see what I was saying. Then Chris Brown left Jamaica. As I slept that particular night, I had a weird encounter with a spirit looking like the Venom character. And it whispered, my ear and it was trying to tell me a lie that i was evil like it's trying to plant a seed of darkness which i did not replace by the covenant of blood of jesus christ of Nazareth. and i could feel its breath breathing and immediately i awoke and it rattled up with that spirit then the Lord said that the spirit the assassins use, and it's a spirit of venom, to poison the minds of the people, especially the males and the little boys, to spike the murder rate, so that even after they left, there would be a lot of bloodshed because they need the blood. Because the spirit of venom, even in the movie, you see where it's a criminal. It goes against the law. It's fighting the cop. It's a bad boy spirit that looks cool, but it's doing sinister stuff. It's the exact spirit in gangsters. Poisons their mind and make them see crime as killing and killing us and opposing righteousness and opposing the law as for Same spirit. Just like when you watch the, the Spider-Man, there was a, a Spider-Man sequel where the vent, the black poisonous gooey liquid, the venom, latched onto the red and white Spider-Man. And you saw where he became evil. Poison his heart, his mind, his look, his continent. That's what it represents. You notice a child could be innocent until they start acting like a gangster. They Say, say, the aim, as I said, was to increase bloodshed because after Nikki went, they were not pleased. So, you know, they're going to warn him, don't come back without blood. Follow me. Remember I said everything is done for a reason and all 
of, say, of the satanic network that is exposing him. For he reveals to redeem and the perceived belief in this scenario is you. Amen. Amen. 